Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, I don't know where you are, but it is scorching hot where I am sitting. Uh, actually, the temperature here is inside is in the high 80s. Apparently, our AC is not working, and as you can see, I've got a beautiful glow on me with a little bit of uh, this water and mistiness. It's like heat, right? So I hope uh, you are doing wonderful, and you are in a place that is so much cooler. But no matter what happens, the show must go on. So welcome to Hill Talk Tuesdays, and this is Lisa, your expert clinical hypnotherapist, stress management consultant. So you know what? Through hypnosis, we can change just about anything. Actually, I can even utilize this, and through hypnosis and the power of suggestion, shift it that for the next 30 minutes or more, I feel absolutely no heat. That's it. I choose to, and I say so, and I command it, and therefore my body will cool off as if I am having this wonderful plate of fresh fruits, uh, even a Persian cucumber, and... Uh, some berries, a bowl of salad. Actually, I can just imagine myself walking on the beach, cool breeze against my face, even the sound of the AC that it's not necessarily working, but seems like it's there. It's only the fan. That being the sound of waves. Hmm. And look, isn't this amazing? My sweat just dried off and I feel so much cooler. Hello, Mark. It's so good to have you here. Show of hands, how many of you have this self-limiting belief that what is happening that you are a victim to it and you cannot change anything, really. Uh, that you cannot do anything, that you feel helpless, that, uh, that you are stuck, that you feel overwhelmed, that you create this anxiety thinking, oh my God, I can't do this, right? Well, let me give you a story. A client of mine just walked in, not just, not today, but she was here Friday. And when I asked her, what is it that I can help you with? She said, I am overwhelmed with anxiety. Wow, double whammy. So what do you feel overwhelmed with? What creates anxiety? Is it the heat? Is it COVID? Is it not being able to connect? Is it not being able to socialize with the ones that you want? What could be? Today, I am a part of this incredible network of influencers that we were on Zoom from 10 o'clock. Actually, it started at 9.30 and it's still going, but you come first. The show must go on. And Heal Talk Tuesday has been going on for the last three years. And no matter what happens, I show up for you. And that's called a promise. A promise that I made, and it's not about me, it's about you, to come and help you, uh, bring you information, bring you strategies, bring you tools and techniques, just like what I did. I was hot having all kinds of uh, heat going in here, in this room, in this building. But what I did with the power of suggestion and making a choice that was more powerful than 
the victim mortality, modality, not mortality, where did that come from? Uh, I made a choice to shift from being hot to cooling off. And by doing so, it's imagining and immersing myself, walking on that beach, being one with the sound of the waves, feeling that cool breeze against my face. And I want you to do the same thing, no matter where you are. Hello, Kim. Hello, beautiful. Recognize that at any moment, no matter where you feel stuck in your life, that you do have the power to make a change. You know, I specialize in helping you overcome pain and go from shifting from pain to gain. And what does pain really mean? When we feel powerless, when we feel anxious, when we feel insecure and we get into this negative thought pattern. And when we do that, it's amazing that how we can just go down as if this undercurrent and no matter what we do, we are stuck in those thoughts. I'm not good enough. I feel helpless. Not recognizing that there are tools and techniques to get you out. If you know how to swim, no matter where you are, you can paddle, you can push, and you can crawl. To get to the gain part, which is feeling the growth within, right? And come to acceptance. And then as you feel more secure with yourself, feeling independent so that you can navigate yourself to nurturing. That's right, because the end result is to feel safe and succeed and stand up for yourself. That's the bonus. Everything that you do, remembering that you're only one thought away to transform and go from pain to gain. So let me give you some tools and techniques. Um, just like what I did is shifting from where we are. It's the imagination. Look, I have absolutely no sweat anymore. Actually, I feel cooler. I can even become cooler and get to a point that my body feels so relaxed as if opening a refrigerator door and just standing in front of it. Oh, the cool breeze of the refrigeration. And just for a second, and then close the door. Even imagining that you can even open, pop a cool drink and taking it from the ice box that you usually hold on to all the drinks and everything and they are stacked in an ice and then put your finger in the ice box. Oof! Take it out before it becomes freeze bite, right? Now uh, here's a great philosophy most people have not done. In uh, the Saharas uh, where the desert and the heat is so powerful, they don't drink anything cold when it's such heat. You know what they do instead? They drink and sip on warm to hot tea. Why? Because they believe, and this is a part of nature, they believe it is so hot outside, you, can, you should not be drinking cold drink in order to shock your system. So what you do is sip on warm, if not hot, drink like tea 
or coffee. Why? Because as your body starts becoming warmer, it feels the same as the outside temperature. And by that, your body regulates to what is out, outside. So the antennas that I always talk about, which is our hair that stands when we are in shock or when we get to feel something that it excites us and uh, either excites us in the positive or negative, it doesn't matter because your subconscious mind, just like your body, has absolutely no understanding of emotions. We put emotions on it. Your body only reacts to cold and hot, good and bad, with no judgment. So the antennas only react to what is without putting the meaning to it. It's only us that puts the meaning to it, right? So by understanding this is by putting that warm, hot uh, tea or coffee or water inside our body, our body comes to regulate and it says, oh, I feel so nice and warm and the outside is warm, so we are in balance. But if we put cold water or cold drink into our body, first the mouth and then the throat and then the body, that's when we get to the freeze bite because it shocks it and it's so hot and it shocks it. That's why there is that discord, just like anything else in life. We must create or teach our body, regulate our body, our mind, and our spirit to a way that we can adjust through things. We can't shock our system with anything. So when we want to heal something that has been so traumatic, when we want to do a breakthrough, I don't just go in there and zap someone or hypnotize someone to shock them out of it. Sometimes it's a good thing, but it's not about zapping or shocking. It's about training. It's about learning. It's about healing. When we heal our internal, our mindset, and we shift it, that's when the healing begins. So in a way, hello, Bridget. How are you, dear? When we tap into our subconscious mind, it's going from our conscious, even right here, right now, as you are listening to me, just imagine for a moment something in your life. And it could be something from childhood, early childhood, or maybe teen years, that maybe you have this self-limiting belief, fear, block. And I want you to concentrate on that one thing. What is it that you say, I can't do, or because of this, I am not able to, or I am afraid if I do this, something else will happen. And it doesn't matter what it is. Just let me just share over here what is it that you believe you are holding on to, that you have not been able to let go or heal from. And once you have that, I want you to immerse yourself with that just the image, not the feeling. And you know why not the feeling? Because there is no way, there is no way, either consciously or subconsciously, that you can feel the exact thing that happened when you were a child or when you were a teen or even a week ago. There is no way we can bring and redo the same thing. We know it as if it is a picture, as if it is a movie and you are rewinding, rewinding, rewinding to get to that moment to see or recognize 
a behavior, a habit, or a fear, or a self-limiting block. Once you have it and you recognize it, it's opening the book and recognizing the things that you said, I can't, I won't, I am not able to. Or it's a habit that you say, I can't let go. I need this. I am not able to release it. And those are self-limiting beliefs. Okay. Let me give you an example for someone who says, I am addicted to coffee. I cannot have a day without my coffee. Or I am addicted to the cigarettes. Without a cigarette, I cannot start my day. I must have my cigarette to go to the bathroom. I must have my cigarette and my coffee to begin my day. So those are the things that we say I can't. And what if we turn around and say, those are the choices that I made long time ago to be my buddy system so I can start functioning in the morning. I need my coffee thinking that this is what helps me wake up. I need my cigarette because for so long the cigarette became my buddy system. Now I have a choice. I can put it aside and start my day for two hours, three hours, and then have my cup of coffee when I get to the office or two hours later, and I can put the cigarette away for another two hours and have it with my coffee at 10 o'clock instead of seven o'clock. I can. Now, that choice, remember you are only one thought away from transforming from pain to gain. And pain means I am powerless to cigarettes or I feel powerless to the coffee. Just a reminder, the coffee, the cigarette, what happened in the past, what is happening outside of you has absolutely no control over you. Make sense? Nothing has control over you except you. Your words, your choices, and your decision. So if you prolong it for two hours, and this can be just about anything, that means now you were in total control. You made a choice. You made a decision and a promise that you held on to. And if you can do it for two hours, you can do it for four hours. You can do it for six hours. You can do it for 24 hours and so on and so on. As a matter of fact, you can, remember, you can do this technique for the next 33 days. And as you continue making that choice, one thought at a time, and continue doing it for 33 days, you now created a new habit. And once you create a new habit and continue on doing so, it becomes a part of your new behavior. I cannot say this more and more than you having total control. It's not about me. I'm not even hypnotizing right now, but today, this is very moment, I want you to know the things that you put in your mouth orally has probably helped you suppress some things that you chose not to express a long time ago. A feeling, a pain, a hurt, a blame, anything that you were either told 
you have no right to speak up or be quiet or you are only here to be seen not to be heard or even vice versa remember today you have the permission to speak today you can give yourself permission to express Today, you can give yourself permission to make one choice and one thought begins your transformation and going from pain to gain. Instead of being powerless, taking the power in your hand. You know, when we want to do anything in life, when our hand is open, we spread ourselves to many thoughts, many actions, but when you hold it in your hand, in the palm of your hand, it all comes to one and it becomes one and you hold it. Becomes solid, becomes yours, becomes more powerful to break through your self-limiting beliefs. So today I'm saying this, hello Vic, how are you dear? Today I am saying this because I too overcame my own transformation. Not only from smoking, from uh, coming and healing through my ovarian cysts, where they told me I'm supposed to have surgery to healing. And that was over 21 years ago. And now I help you overcome your own self-limiting beliefs by helping you evoke what was your history so that you can recognize it, bring it to surface and recognize that that the past has absolutely no more power over you. By embracing it and saying, yes, this is me, this is mine. I have total control. so that you can evolve to what it is that you want. And it doesn't matter if it is a relationship, if it is your personal achievements, if it is overcoming a habit, a behavior, no matter what. So, if you are ready to heal within, here's the tool. You have the power within you. You are empowered and the answers are within you. I only help you bring it to surface so that you can tap into your subconscious mind and do it a faster way. Okay? Today, you can turn around and say, I pledge allegiance to myself to accept and appreciate myself far more deeply than ever before. Because I do matter. You do. And from this day forward, every day in every way, you stand up for who you are. All of you. In mind, in body, and of your emotions. So, I have a, uh, a beautiful PDF from Pain to Gain with all the tools, all the answers that you can practice doing so. And I'll be more than happy to gift it to you. Free, absolutely at no cost. All you have to do is just text 818-221-2797. Again, 818-221-2797. And I'll be more than happy to send it to you. All you have to do is say healing and I'll be more than happy to send this to you so you can utilize it and go from pain to gain. Yay. Hi, Arine. How are you, love? It's so good to have you here. Hey, Vic. I love the fires. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sometimes I feel like a fire. I'm on fire. Um, isn't there a song, Life on Fire? You should know because you're the music guy. Whew. Okay, it's hot again, or maybe I'm just hot. For now, 
This is Lisa, your expert hypnotherapist, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Next week, what's happening next week? Uh, oh, I have an incredible guest that is coming live. It's uh, she's an attorney. She's going to bring so much information for you. And so stay tuned. And I look forward to reconnecting. If you have any thoughts, if you have any questions, by all means, you know how to connect with me. You can subscribe, connect with me, go to my website. Uh, I have a 20 minute consultation free of charge. Let's connect. Let me see how I can help you. You know why? Because I don't want you to be in pain. You no longer need to be in pain. It's about time we stand up and say, here I am. Until then, God bless you and may the universal light surround you. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.